Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if the Windows backup is not working, failed, or did not complete successfully. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to go ahead and start off by opening up the search menu. Type in CMD, best match to come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, I want you guys to type in SFC, followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, and once that's done, go ahead and type in CHK, DSK, space forward slash R, exactly how you see it on my screen. Hit enter on the keyboard. It should come back with check this cannot run because the volume is in use by another process. Would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time your system restarts? Tap the Y key and hit enter. So this volume will be checked the next time the system restarts. Go ahead and close out of here and then actually restart your computer. So it's going to give you an option to skip the disk checking once the computer boots back up. Do not tap any keys on your keyboard. However, since this could take a good amount of time, I don't want to keep you guys waiting. It's just a loading screen. Basically, it's just going to show you guys that it's scanning. I'm actually going to tap a key on my keyboard, but in your case, do not tap any keys. You do not want to skip this disk checking, but it could take up to an hour or two, depending on how large your hard drive is. And then once you're done with that, Hopefully I should be able to resolve the problem that you're having with the partition or with the Windows backup not working properly. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do advise it will help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.